PKA 640. May have Boogie. We'll see. Boogie said his biggest fear in a potential fight was the health issues, the things his doctor's afraid of. Mm. Taylor, what would your biggest fear be if you were to step into the ring? Like, what are you afraid of? Uh, Injury? Uh, I'd want to make sure I was very, very pleased with how my, my body looked before I got in the I'd ring. I'd be, I'd be self-conscious about that. And other than that, and like wanting to look good, I would just be like, okay, lose if you're gonna lose like if it becomes obvious that you're losing stretch it out in a way that's not embarrassing and like get to the timer like that would be my thought like the worst fear would be like getting in there feeling fat and then getting the shit kicked out of me and just waking up a little wealthier on the ground so like that would I, that's I gonna be somebody's I, reality Kyle, yeah. I'll, I'll go next but like yeah, I already said Here's, that the humiliation of just being beaten by another man, especially in public, because like if it was private, it wouldn't bother me. If some dude knew he had beaten me up, that doesn't bother me because he earned it. He beat me up, but I just don't want everybody to know. You know, like that was what I was afraid of in high school when I, it was like, "Fuck, I don't want everybody to see me get beaten up." Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like I was never afraid of the. It's beat. bad optics. <laughs> Here's yeah. my thing. I, I just want to conduct myself with courage. Like ideally, I win. Maybe I lose. But everyone should leave thinking that, like, I wasn't scared, that I gave it my all. I, mm. I'm close enough to fit that I'm pretty sure I can look good, you know, yeah, you look with, good. With, you a look few, right. with a few weeks' yeah. notice. Um, so, so, like, I, I can get that under control. I don't want to be embarrassed, but my, the, the cause of embarrassment, I don't want to be a pussy. I don't want it's to. It's a lot in the easier ring. for you to step in. Mm -hmm. you, for you, I think it's the easiest decision because, like. You look amazing for like your age. I, know, I, don't, curve, I don't think you right. I I, and it's not just the curve. Like like you look amazing for somebody like ten years younger than you. Like 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 my neighbor's fucking a doughy cocksucker, and he's like twenty five. Like you know what I mean? Like like you, you look great. So like like you, there's very few ways for you to lose face doing a YouTube boxing type thing because you have like a year's worth of boxing training and like. A couple years worth of jujitsu training like you getting roughed up is not a fear you getting in there and like mixing it up with another dude there's no fear there like and i saw your dance competition <laughs> humiliation does not phase you sir <laughs> <laughs> off my house he embraces it see that's that's exactly why you would handle that seamlessly. You didn't give a fuck about dancing like a goober. You were just like, I, I don't give a shit. I'm already an adult. All these children that I am in the same league with. Like, like, and that, honestly, that probably was a big thing. It's like, even Kyle, like, who was older in that group of us, you know, like, we were all in that way more kind of over socialized, hypersensitive about like, what will people think? And Woody was the one, late 30s, like, I don't care i have children <laughs> i will dance you want me to put a tutu on as long as the check clears yeah. bitch like <laughs> yeah i love it yeah yeah no i'm not uh i i don't have maybe the self-confidence to, to to do that i wouldn't have wanted I, I i think i'd be a bad dancer too I, I i don't like to dance woody at a party uh we went to a party one time and my girlfriend wanted to dance with the girl i was with anyway and i'm like you want to talk to Woody? Or maybe Woody was like, I'll take you. Like yeah. one way or the other. Then I, I was like, Kitty. Uh, <laughs> who was that? No. The, girl, the, the oh. Apple chick. Um, um, what, Jess? I Justine, maybe? Oh. You were dancing with everybody. Yeah, it was, yeah, I, yeah. I think it was I Justine's party. It might have been. Could have been. I don't know. Yeah. Damn. High rollers. <laughs> so, but. so Taylor, you're worried about looking good. Here's the thing. Neither mirror wings are ever going to look good. So that's out of the question. We don't have to worry mm. about that. And what are you afraid of? Like not looking brave. Like yeah. here's the thing. Uh, me and wings cannot look anything other than brave. Cause this is just a stupid idea for both of us. Right? Like we're facing some insurmountably yeah. stupid decision-making <laughs> uh, and I mean, we're facing some really big fears. I like of like, decisions. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's I think that's one of the reasons. So Kyle, what would be your biggest fear though? Oh, it's like what it's what I said earlier with any fight, like like public or or, or whatever. It's 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 embarrassing to be beaten up by another dude. It, and it's uh because um I, I mean I, I I would look fine. I would probably be the bigger, stronger guy uh come fight time unless they uh, at one point like I was I've I've been offered a fight. It was in the 
fucking bare knuckle boxing league you may have heard of with the professionals against a former UFC contender. That's what I got offered. <laughs> Diego Sanchez. He said, he said me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle and said I yes, said that Diego back down. Sign up. Yeah, I, 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 what I did was Diego I was said, on the fucking hell contract. Fuck, I said, hell fucking no in private. But in public, I dogged him relentlessly. So, he was on, <laughs> so he's, on, he's on Instagram. He's like, I know he's all juiced up, but I've fought against guys like that before. I'll take him on. And it's like, dude, you are really just biting the apple here you just- <laughs> <laughs> you're biting the fish hook is yeah taking yeah, the bait uh, taking him down the road with me and uh, i don't know I, I like fucking with people i guess especially somebody like that because i know diego like i'm a fan of diego's i suppose like not in the way that like i root for him but like i've watched that guy every every fight i mm-hmm. he has some he has one of the there's a few moments like if you were to watch like a montage of the ufc's history where like some big things happen brock lesnar did some crazy shit here and there but there's one where Diego Sanchez walked out frothing at the mouth, foaming at the mouth, screaming something. I think it was prayers while holding a big crucifix, not a wooden one, but like a like a, like one of those Catholic bedazzled crucifixes <laughs> like you take to get Very Dracula classy. with. Yeah. He had like an anti-Dracula crucifix and he's coming out. He's just like, fucking father, father, no, 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 no. he's like screaming some sh- crazy shit. And it's like, dude, you're about to fight him, man. And then, like, his last fight before he really, like, I think it might have been his last fight in the UFC. I think he was foaming at the mouth during the fight, like, like a, like, in a weird, creepy kind of like, are you rabbit or something kind of way? Like white stuff at the corner of his mouth. It was crazy. They want me to fight that motherfucker. <laughs> no. And you would have won. And I stand by that. And I would encourage you to pursue. Jesus, let me beat it up Lions Tech Tips or something. <laughs> I, I know about about the fight coming up with you and Wings. Is like, is it encouraged for you to pick up a persona, a character, something like that, a costume, perhaps? The Green Bastard from Party. The of Green Things. Bastard would be great. I'd love to. The do Green that. Bastard. Green I was thinking, if you bad. can get the licensing nailed down, if you could kind of like come dressed as Grimace. I, I was like trying to get like some silk shorts, but they don't make that much silk, so I don't know if that's going to work yeah, out. Yeah, you could mm-hmm. contact like a sailing company. Right, yeah. Like, I was literally like Wings and I were talking like, where do we get where do we get shorts? Like, <laughs> Amazon goes to shorts? like three X. You and Wings are talking behind the you scenes just cordially. Uh, not, I wouldn't call it necessarily cordially. We're in a group chat with Keemstar and stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. so like that's, you know, that's better than I. Think. Yeah, so you're, you're we're not like sucking each, each other. other's dicks over here or anything. No, I thought like low key, you guys were like friends. Like, all right, I, you know, like, I, are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared too. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be a while. This. I think it's gonna be a while till I'm friends with Wings. No offense. Like, I, I'll do respect for another low cow or whatever you want us to call us, right? But at the same time, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see us breaking open a, a, a fucking Mountain Dew anytime soon. You've you got know? a real house, don't you? <laughs> Don't you yeah. live in a real house? I live, in, I live in a place that has like uh, multiple doors and has no wheels on it. So it, let me ask you a question: If if, if your mama you your wanted, cross she, face. <laughs> see, this is the kind let of me ask you this, Boogie, 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 I would point out that if if your mama, for example, wanted to, she could not hook a big truck up to your house and drive away with it. Like, that <laughs> Absolutely true. not. That yeah. just ain't true in uh, Conway, South Carolina. I would point yeah. out things like that. I'd be mean and ruthless because because you've got to like trigger him to like come back yeah. or to lose control. Either You're way, a foundation it's fun. owner. You know, you were talking about not wanting to watch the world be get you see you get beat up, dude. If yeah. I lose to Wings, that's going to be some embarrassing shit. No, well, <laughs> look, look I, I, that's I'm fucking gonna, embarrassing. He may be ten years younger than me. He no. may be fucking taller. He may be better looking or what? I don't fucking know. But you know, I, I've again, I I think Wings beats my ass up. I shit. I, 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 don't, I don't think you should feel embarrassed at all losing to wings because of all the things you just said like he's you're going up against somebody bigger lighter taller like if if he loses to you he will be embarrassed that's how you got to think because you're You're, you're absolutely right here like all the pressure is on wings you're the underdog dude yeah you're the underdog here if he's the one who should feel the fucking pressure all you've got to do is fucking have like a rocky-esque moment and go the distance like, like that's that should be your goal is fucking finishing, like, like mm-hmm. getting to the fucking end, like, like because wings, like, like we've said, he's bi- he's bigger, faster, and stronger in like all the ways that matter, and he's younger too, and he hasn't had the health issues that you've had to deal with or the background that you've had to deal with. He's just he's got a lot of advantages going into this thing. Silver so you should, spoon. He was born. So you shouldn't feel bad at all for losing <laughs> that guy. Hey Kyle, if you could fight <laughs> yeah. one YouTuber, Kyle, spork in his mouth. Who would you fight? <laughs> 
See, what, I don't watch content YouTube. creator. It doesn't have to be YouTube. <laughs> okay, TikTok, uh, fucking Wendy's celebrity sport. if you want. But yeah. you I, I mean, I mean, there's a reason that Harley called out Doctor Disrespect, um, because a if you lose to do to the doc, who's fucking surprised? Mm -hmm. But if you have a flash of a moment against him, everybody's gonna kiss your ass, mm -hmm. and it's also a massive draw, so you'd make a lot of fucking money. So I'd want to fight someone like that, regardless of what of what they're gonna do to me. Um, because I think that a rational person will look at like outcomes based on the matchup. Like, 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 like I wouldn't be embarrassed to lose to a professional fighter. I'd be scared to lose for, to, to one. That's why I didn't want to fight Diego because they wanted me to fight in bare knuckle boxing. They wrap their hands with uh, like tape and it, they cut each other a lot. They're off. Their faces are often shredded up. Mm -hmm. And this is a guy, this is a fucking professional athlete. Oh His yeah. He would have destroyed spent. something beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> He destroyed my fucking ego. He'd have murdered me. He could he could kill me with his hands. Um, so like like I wouldn't want to do anything like that. But um, I don't know, man. I really don't watch a lot of like content in general. But I, I just wouldn't. I would want to be, you know, make as much money as possible though. That would be all I care. Oh about. yeah, I get. Kyle's that. making a lot of sense. If you want to call out someone who's a draw, and that's why I'm using this opportunity. Jenna Marbles, come at me, bitch. You and I. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, just, I saw you handling your animals. <laughs> you like it rough? Well, that's how I'm going to give it to you on October 31st. So put your fucking mask on. I, is, she, is she rough with animals? She's rough without her like makeup on, and she's rough with animals. See, I, I hit her like three times there on the spot <laughs> in 15 seconds. What does she do to animals? I don't Bullies remember. them, makes fun of them. I, I could be them wrong. Ugly. Do you know, Jenna she Marbles my, is probably, animals. she's a wonderful person. I'm just trying to pick a fight with Jenna Marbles now. So like, like, no, no, I'm, just no, actually, get, I'm just trying to get the facts. I'm a journalist. She doesn't actually have any animal abuse, but. Uh, she's got those cute little like whippets. I she think. likes small dogs. Marbles, maybe is the dog's name. I don't know. My, Kermit, I had a girlfriend. Kermit was one of them. Kermit, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a girlfriend who was, who like loved Jenna Marbles. And so I would watch a ton of Jenna Marbles on the couch sitting next to her. And uh, it's always fun. Yeah, you know what? Like, if you've, uh, you know. That's her, the worst version of her on the left. But I kind of take that and say, like, she's an artist. Like, um, she's a millionaire. That's the, that's, uh, that's all I care about. Yeah, that's a, she's that's loaded. Beautiful, yeah, and, and, and clearly, she's a talented makeup artist as well. That's just one of her many qualities. That's all you've shown me. <laughs> yeah, You've you just go. shown me another wonderful thing about Jenna Marbles. Maybe we won't. Either way. What's new with you guys? How you doing?